Hello everyone, my name is DJ Barry and in this video we'll be breaking down SNDL's amazing performance today and what this means for the future of the stock price. And with us getting even more positive news just one week away from the earnings call, now is the time to buy in before it's too late. And quickly before we begin this video, make sure you guys comment down below where you think SE Day will be going tomorrow after the crazy day we had today. And now let's get right into this video. So SEDL is up an amazing 19.45% today, and we didn't get any announcements from the company themselves. So just imagine how incredible the gains could be as we get closer and closer to that March 29th earnings call. And as I've said in my last couple of videos, normally Sundial Growers releases an announcement a few days before the earnings call. And now thus just one week away from the earnings call, we should be getting an announcement very soon. And that announcement will make the stock price go up even more. And then when we get the actual earnings results, that'll make the stock price absolutely explode. So this next week could be very exciting for us investors. But for now, let's focus on what happened today and where we could go tomorrow. So first, let's discuss what caused s to run up today. Day. And well, as I said earlier, Sundial themselves did not release any sort of announcement, so nothing Sundial did cause this run. But what did cause this run is the anticipation of what Sundial is going to do, because within the next week, we'll most likely get some sort of news from Sundial. We'll see SEDO's acquisition of Alcana officially close. We'll hear more information about Sundial's joint venture with the staff group soon becoming publicly traded. And of course, we have the quarter four of 2021 earnings call coming up on March 29th. So this whole next week is just going to be loaded when it comes to new information. And of course, that means we could see the stock price continue to rise. And before we get into my price predictions for tomorrow, I first want to dive a little bit deeper into SEDO's acquisition of Alcana because we just got some more amazing news about this deal. So for those who don't already know, Sundial Growers is acquiring one of Canada's largest private liquor retail companies called Alcana. And Alcana also owns a large part of a cannabis company called Nova Cannabis. And to be exact, Alcana owns 63% of this company, which makes them majority owner. And within the next week, Sundial Growers will officially own 100% of Alcana. So that means Sundial will also own 63% of Nova Cannabis, which will further boost SNDL's cannabis output even more and of course bring in more attention to their brand name. And the reason why I'm talking about this is because just yesterday, Nova Cannabis released their fourth quarter earnings results for 2021. And they increased their revenue by over 23% compared to the last quarter and increased their year over year revenue by 176% by reporting a fourth quarter revenue of $47.6 million. And this huge increase in revenue is one of the reasons why SNDL is up so much today because Nova is an asset to Sundial Growers. And when an asset is seeing this type of growth, investors take notice. And of course, we took notice of this today as SNDL is up over 19%. And today has been absolutely amazing for us as we open up the day trading at 53 cents, which was also the low for the day. And then all day long, we just saw SNDL continue to go up and up and hit a high of 58 cents when the markets were open and we peaked at just a half cent below the 59 cent level. And as we entered the final hour of trading, SEDL did come down a very small amount. But at 4 p.m. when the markets closed, we were still trading at 58 cents, which was a gain of about 9%. But then in the after hours, SNDL just completely took off and we smashed right through that 60 cent level and got all the way up to 64 cents. And it doesn't seem like we'll be slowing down anytime soon, especially with all the upcoming events I mentioned earlier in this video. And also, if you guys want to hear a full breakdown video on what we can expect to see during this earnings call that we have coming up on March 29th, then make sure you guys subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on that because I'll be making a video this week talking about everything you guys need to know. But now for the moment you guys have all been waiting for, let's get right into these price predictions. So after everything we talked about in this video, where can we see SNDL go tomorrow, Wednesday, March 23rd? So of course, SNDL had an absolutely amazing day today. But now the question is, can this continue into tomorrow or will we see SNDL drop back down? And of course, that is a difficult question to answer because nothing in the stock market is guaranteed and it is impossible to know exactly where a stock is going. But of course, we can do our best to make the most accurate price predictions possible with the information we have in front of us. And as I mentioned earlier in this video, we have an array of catalysts coming up throughout this week that can make the stock price 
absolutely explode. And I believe the anticipation for all these upcoming events will make the stock price continue to rise. And I do think we have a chance, a good chance of being in the green tomorrow, but of course, not by nearly as much compared to what we saw today, because I do not believe we'll see another 19% gain until we get up to that earnings call. And of course, I could be wrong because we did see a 19% gain today, even though Sundial didn't announce anything. But I think our chances of seeing two days in a row with a 19% gain are pretty low, but of course, it is not unlikely. But in my honest opinion, I think we'll see SCDL go up about 3-4% to tomorrow, but the stock chart will look a little bit different. And instead of seeing a solid upward trend throughout the entire day like we did today, I think SCDL will begin the day with a slight dip as day traders take profits. But I think pretty quickly we'll see things calm down and turn back around and we'll see SCDL begin to make a run towards that 70 cent level. And I believe we'll reach a high of 67 cents, but I think we'll most likely close the day at either 64 cents or 65 cents. And that is going to be all for this video guys, and I would love to hear what you guys think about where SCDL could go tomorrow, so feel free to comment your price predictions down below, and hope you guys all enjoyed this video, hope you guys all had a great day today, thank you all for watching, good luck ladies and gentlemen, and peace out.